All right, Sabres lose to the uh, soon-to-be Quebec City Nordiques, probably. Uh, four to two. Um, there are a lot of games at home this year that where their result was born out of a lack of effort. I don't think this was one of them. I don't. I don't even think this was in the bottom five of um, games played at home this season. Um, uh, certainly, the result is in the bottom five, but. I thought they played well for the most part. Um, just uh, yeah, not on the scoreboard. Didn't didn't bury the chances. Didn't didn't get the goaltending. You know whatever. Um, you know just didn't have whatever that extra thing it takes to win. Um, yeah, just uh, again weird weird game. Just uh, it's very odd to put only two goals on a goaltender that is by pretty much every definition of the word terrible. Uh, when you've gotten 45 shots on goal, and a lot of them were good ones. Um, just uh, if there is anything that can uh, indicate a lack of effort, it might be not getting to some of those rebounds a little bit sooner. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And the Sabres are still a good team. And the Coyotes are still a bad team. And uh, whatever the deal is with uh, not winning at home, I think that they will figure it out. I, I feel like... Uh, feel like we're seeing the positives uh, start to show up a little bit more in some of the players you've been looking for them in. Uh, Leno, Erhoff, for example. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Um, don't know. Derek Roy. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about Derek Roy being on the top line. Uh, I'm not completely sure what to make of that. On one hand, I don't think his skill set fits in very well with uh, Thomas Vanek uh, in particular and Jason Pominville. On the other hand, uh, he has played a lot of games uh, where he was one of the best players on the ice recently. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what you do with Roy. I think I, I almost feel like we have too many small, speedy guys and not enough places to put them or not enough uh, big guys to play them with. I think if I had to make a decision on what to do uh i would probably put adam back on the top line and uh just just you know let him develop um another option and maybe not the greatest option but putting boys on the top line with pominville and bannock since it's worked so way on the pominville that works so well on the power play um yeah i don't know uh, if you put a gun in my head and asked me to do something, I would probably go Bannock, Adam, Pominville. Um, I would go Lano, Stafford, Boys for the second line. I would roll the dice a little bit and put Roy with Gerby and Coletta. Um, that line's a little small, but uh, maybe maybe instead of Coletta, you can put Trop out there. And I think uh, I would uh, put the rest on the bottom line. Uh, those being. Ellis and Gosted and Coletta slash Trot slash McCormick. What have you. Uh, yeah, I'll just go right into my three stars, three black holes. Uh, the third star. Um, uh, it's really hard because there were a lot of people that I didn't think played all that well. I'll give it to Christian Erhoff. Um, no show on the stat sheet, but uh, 26 44 minutes of ice time. Uh, stepped up big time with Myers getting hurt and uh, had five, five shots on goal, um, which is tied with Brad Boys and Drew Stafford and Thomas Vanek for the lead. Um, Jesus, you think those guys get five shots on goal? You score more than two, two uh, goals. Yeah. Anyway, uh, second star I would give to. Um, uh, I think I'm going to give it to two players, uh, Luke Adam and Patrick Folletta, uh who had goals tonight. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that uh, the guys that really aren't expected to show up every night uh, were the ones to show up tonight, and the guys that are um, were nowhere to be found. Um, yeah, sucks. Uh, and the top star I will give to Jordan Leopold with two assists, uh, and really just because I want to give him credit for uh, quite possibly being the Sabres' best defenseman this year. Um, yeah, man, what a what a signing! What a signing! Um, 
Jordan Lee pulled everyone. Uh, I may, in fact, be in the building for our next game at home against Boston. Uh, we will see on that one. I'll see you later, or 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 I could do my black holes, couldn't I? Um, boy, this is a shit show, isn't it? Uh, uh, I'll give the third black hole to Drew Stafford uh, for being minus three. I'll give the second black hole to Jonas Enroth for uh, not having his best game. Uh, again, I think and agree with Lindy that the honest is on the forwards to bury one of their like 800 great chances. And for that reason, I will give the first star to every single top six forward. Fuck you guys. Now I'm done.